Charles Boyer, Dick Powell, David Niven, Ida Lupino. This was our first day in Los Angeles, the city toward which I'd been inevitably drawn throughout the last three years of utter loneliness. Night, pal. Thanks, Bobo. Show, Curly. It was a great show, Phil. We left all the kids wanting to be clowns. Kids want to be clowns anyway. Most of them eventually succeed. You feeling okay? Why shouldn't I feel okay? Because we're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Chicago, Phoenix. What's the difference? Jenny's the difference. She lives here. You used to live here. And I don't live here anymore. You used to love her. And I don't love her anymore. That's simple. You sure of that? Why don't you go chase a lion? No, oh, that can wait till the night. You better take it easy, too. It'll be a big performance. We're all sold out. I'll be all right, Curly. Don't worry. I'll be all right. You just keep repeating that. You may eventually believe it. I may. I think I'll take a little walk. Wait up. I'll change and go with you. No, I'd rather you didn't. Why not? The trouble with you, Curly, is that you're a happy man. That's trouble. A happy man with a wife and two kids is a very poor companion for a man suffering from loneliness. I'm sorry. I, I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. And I'm glad you don't. You have to have a pain to understand the pain. Why don't you forget her? I've forgotten her. Each day I spend three or four hours forgetting her. I've forgotten each separate and individual... <laughs> you win, Carly. 
How can I kid you when I can't even kid myself? I'm going to see the house. What house? The one we used to live in, Jenny and me. A small furnished house. You shouldn't do it. He doesn't live there anymore. After she got the divorce, she moved away. I'm not going there to see her. Well, then what is it you want to see? Myself. During all these years, I've been trying to forget. It didn't work. Now I'm going to try to remember. Or it went wrong. Why? It'll hurt. I want it to. Nothing changed. The people, maybe. The year had another number. The oleander had grown a little higher. They're not at home. They won't be home until tonight. I see. Thank you. The gate used to creak. Jenny always asked me to oil it. I never did. Something was pulling me. I had to take a look inside. We used to leave the key under the doormat. And so did they. Nothing changed. The house still belonged to yesterday. It was the same room. Even some of the furniture looked the same. What was it? What was it I was trying to find? Jenny wasn't here. Jenny was gone. For a moment I stood there thinking that maybe the walls could remember. Look, Phil! Aren't they pretty? Bill? What are you talking about, Jenny? Some pretty new curtains, some vases for flowers, and the glasses. See? Isn't it delicate? How much were they, a nickel apiece? Oh, I know it isn't <coughs> Swedish crystal, but couldn't we pretend? I know. An out-of-work actor who hasn't had a job for months should be satisfied with this imitation stuff. But I'm not. You've got to aim high if you want to get to the top. And I want to, and I will. I'm sure you will, darling, but in the meantime... There's no meantime. I think there is. Life is in the meantime. This isn't life. But it could be. No, this is only waiting for life. Waiting for that phone to ring, for that one big break I'm going to get someday. And you'll get it, Phil. But you'd get it even if we were alive in the meantime. Even if we made this house into something, well, a little more than a waiting room. You're unrealistic. Is it so unrealistic to want a home and children? Well, that'll come later. But you don't really care about it, do you? Sure I care about it, but let's care about one thing at a time. Are you sure you don't care about one thing, period? You, yourself. Sure, I care about me. When I get to be a big-time comic, you can have a couple of houses if you want them. You can spend your whole day just spending money, throwing it away. That's not my kind of dream. Of course not. Know. You dream small. I dream big. I don't think you know what you want. You call it success, but in your mind it has no definition. You see a lot of bright, glittering lights and too much money. But you don't see anything else. No responsibility. No warmth, no soul. But you do. You see all these things. Beauty is easy to come by for you. And why not? You, you can buy it in a dime store. I'm sorry. I don't know why I talked like that. I just wanted to hurt you. Hurt me? Why? Because I'm 
sick inside and frightened. Oh, Phil, you mustn't be. You'll make it. I know you'll make it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. You'll have all the bright lights in the world spelling out your name. You can't miss. I, I want you to be happy too, Jenny. And you will be. I'll dazzle you with happiness. Oh, Phil, I'm happy right now. Now doesn't count. You won't even remember now. Oh, whatever you say. However you want it. I need you. I need you so much, Timmy. When I'm close to you, I believe everything I dream. I'll be close to you, Phil. As long as you need me. <laughs> Was it the phone? The phone. The phone. Hello. I'm speaking. Of course I can. Right away. Sure. Sure, thanks. All right, Jeffrey from the agency. What is it? I don't know. A job. I've got to get out of the office right away. I get my suit out. Somebody wants me. But what is it? I don't know and I don't care. Somebody wants me. Jenny. Jenny. Phil, you got the job. I told you I'd make it, didn't I? Didn't I tell you I'd make it? Yeah. We're going to celebrate. Celebrate? What kind of music is that for a celebration? Darling, tell me all about it. Please, now, please. Now, wait a minute. You promised me this dance. Oh. I want you to tell me what happened. No, now, wait a minute. No like? Oh, I like very much. But you forgot to tell me one important thing. I got a job. I know. But you got a job where? The Orpheum. The Orpheum? Oh, Phil, such a big theater. What'd you think? Nothing but the best. Well, what are you going to do? I don't exactly know. Somebody dropped out unexpectedly. You know, the big star breaks his neck and a new star is born. That's me. Imagine me out that big stage. I'll fracture him. Darling, this is the break. I feel it deep inside. It'll all come now. The lights, the billboards, the money. And for you, the big car, the clothes, anything you want. Uh, no, Phil, just a little house of our own and some children. Then we can be really happy. Now, take it easy. No, Phil, you've got to promise me right now. Well, better give me a chance to get famous first. But what I want, you don't have to be famous. Just a little home of our own. Okay, if that's what you want. Excuse me. I'm looking for the manager. Yeah, I'm him. Mr. King, I'm Phil Arnold. Yeah? Our Jeffrey sent me from the Boom Agency. Oh, yeah? Are you a comic? Yeah. Would you like to see my clipping? Nah, it's not that important. Any comic will do. How do you mean? Look, I'm in a spot. I've got an act here. Milo the Magician. The clown he does the act with grabs some tomaine out of a tired sandwich and can't go on tonight. You mean you want me to be the clown? Sure. Didn't I tell you? No. He... Anyway, he said it was going to be a solo spot. Well, it's not. And if you want it, stick around. Milo will be here shortly and break you in. You get 50 bucks for it. But he said it was going to be a solo spot. Look, do you want it or don't you? 50 bucks is a lot of grocery for 10 minutes. I'll take it, Mr. King. Okay.
good. Excuse me, could you tell me why? Out of the wings. There's a show going on. Sit down with you. <laughs> Come in. Name is Beck, Charlie Beck. You were great, just great. They tell me it's your first chance as a clown. That's right. I, I was just filling in. Ah, you stole the show. It was a great job. I mean it. As a matter of fact, I'd like to hire you myself. As what? As a clown. I run one of the biggest circuses in the country. You've got what it takes. You have that touch. What's the touch for a clown? Well, it isn't just being funny. You make them feel sorry for you. Well, that's very nice, Mr. Beck, but one of these days I'm going to be a top comedy star and make some real money. Ah, you could make plenty if you sign with me. Here. If you change your mind. I'll be here for another day. I'm leaving for New York tomorrow night, and I'd like to take you with me. But I've got a wife. Who hasn't? Could she come with me? Well, if things turn out the way I think they should, she can join you later. Think it over. I will, Mr. Beck. Bill? Well, what happened, darling? The show's almost over. When are you going to go on? Well, didn't you see me? See you? When? The clown. Didn't you know I was the clown? Oh, Phil, was that you? Yeah. Is that what they hired you for? But it was just for tonight. But your agent said you were going to have a good spot. He didn't say that. I figured it that way. Just wishful thinking. This is reality. Fifty bucks. Fifty dollars. That's not bad, Phil. No, it's not bad. It's the beginning. Anyway, we'll go out and have a nice dinner tonight. No, darling, we don't have to go out to celebrate. I'll fix you something at home. All right, darling. Whatever you say. You didn't tell me how you liked my act tonight. I wasn't really watching. I didn't know it was you. Anyway, I, I don't really like clowns. Why? What's wrong with clowns? Do you think it's easy to be a clown? Or didn't you think I was any good? I'm sure you were, darling. People laughed, didn't they? The magician said I was better than his regular assistant. And the audience applauded and called me back before the curtain. Do you know what it means, standing out there in the middle of the stage, facing 2,000 people who are laughing and applauding? I'm sorry I missed it. Jenny. Yes? There was a guy in my dressing room tonight. Yeah? He's the owner of a circus, a big circus. What did he want? He wants to hire me. As a clown? As a clown. Well, you aren't thinking of taking the job, are you? Yeah. I'm going to take it. What happens to us? Well, you could stay here for a while, and if things work out, you can join me later. And live in a trailer? And be on the move for the rest of our lives? Well, it could be fun. But we were going to settle down, Phil. You, you promised me this morning. This morning, I thought I'd get a job in my own line. Well, you still can, darling, if you wait. Now, I don't mind waiting as long as we're together. Look, Jenny, this is a chance. I know you don't have a very high opinion of clowns, but they make a lot more money than you think. You want to leave me? I don't want to leave you, but I'm an actor. I, I want to act. And I'm a woman. And I want to be a wife. I want a solid house without wheels. I want my children to have a garden with birds and flowers, not a back lot with lions and tigers. It won't be forever. But it will. As long as you're successful, you'll stay, because that's what you want, applause and fame and your, your name and life. OK, so that's what I want. What's so wrong with that? Well, everything. It's selfish and inconsiderate. Because I want it. 
because it'll be mine and not yours. You want a house with a lot of brats running around. If you think I'm going to pass up the chance of my life for that, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Jenny, I'm sorry. If I can only tell you that. I've done nothing. I'm not a thief. I know. I said, explain to the officer, man, he used to live here. He's with us in the circus. Uh, is it all right? Thank you. It's all right, officer. Everything seems to be straightened out. I've messed everything up, Curly. No, you haven't, Phil. The police will understand. I've explained it all away. They know who we are. The people who live in this house are making no complaint. Why should they? You haven't done anything. I broke in. Just send them a present. I called her, Curly. I had to. I wanted to tell her I was sorry, but I didn't. You still can. Hello, Phil. Jenny, what are you doing here? Just dropped in to say hello. But how'd you know I was here? Well, my phone rang this afternoon. I picked up the receiver. There was no one there. I heard a click. I knew you were in town. I took a cab to the circus. I met Curly. Phil. Why did you come here? Curiosity. How have you been, Jenny? Oh, fine. Just fine. You have a new house? Yes. Nice painted walls, furniture, rugs, everything. Children? No, I'm not married, Phil. How have you been? I've got everything you said would make me happy. Fame, success, my name in lights. I'm glad it worked out for you. Only it didn't. I've been miserable. You said you thought I was selfish, that I wanted only success. You were wrong. I was more selfish than that. I wanted all those things, and I wanted you, too. Oh, Phil. Why didn't you tell me? Because I had to come to this house to find out what I really wanted. I was just rolling on wheels. It doesn't matter. Rolling or flying or swimming or solid. A home is where you love me. 